Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Now we're all in it on the same accord. We would like to welcome you out to our Sunday morning service. A beautiful day outside as the sun's coming out. Amen. Uh, just a wonderful day uh, to be at the house of the Lord. Uh, we would like to go ahead and open up with prayer this morning, asking God's blessings on the service. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for the safety that you've given us and allow us to travel today, dear Lord, to, to meet here once again, dear Lord. Father, we ask your blessings upon our service today. Father, that you just come down and dwell with us, dear Lord. Help us to have open minds and hearts, dear Lord, the reading and, and preaching of your word. Lord, I pray that you help us to understand and be able to apply it to our lives. But we thank you for all those provisions that you've given us this week, dear Lord, both physical and spiritual, dear Lord, as we live in a trying world. And Father, I pray that you help us to focus, dear Lord, not on the storm, yes. but on you. Yes. Father, that you'll carry us through these trying times that we have. Lord, we'll give you the praise and honor, Lord, for it all. Lord, we pray that you be with those and they will be with us today. Lord, I pray that your blessings be upon them. I pray that you just wrap your loving arms around them as well, dear Lord. Be it those that are sick, dear Lord, uh, they're not feeling well, maybe in the hospitals. Father, I pray that your healing hand be upon them as well. But we ask all these things in Jesus' sweet, precious, and holy name. Amen. Amen. Uh, as far as uh, announcements this morning, uh, as you look in your bulletin there, we've got uh, our services uh, today, of course, are uh, being transmitted outside, and there are some changes there uh, that will take place. Uh, as, of course, Sunday afternoon, we're going to be doing the inside and transmitting outside. And then Wednesday night, uh, we'll be having our Christmas uh, special services, and there'll be two of them. One of them will start at 6 o'clock, one of them will be at 7.15. So I encourage you to buy all your friends out for this event. Uh, be much in prayer for that as well. Uh, now, as far as announcements there, uh, there's one that's not in your bulletin. Uh, and Brother Jason, Sister Sarah, would like for the teens to be here today at 3.30 in the Family Life Center. That's 3.30 today in the Family Life Center. Okay. Uh, also there, give some more definition or explanation about our December the 23rd uh, service. It's our first drive-in, uh, as you have probably seen in churches that uh, are around in our community. This is something that's, uh, there may have been some churches do like a drive-in nativity scene, uh, but this is new for everyone, so uh, it's, it should be, I'm excited about it. I'm knowing it's going to be great, and Amen. God's blessings going to be upon it. Uh, of course, Friday is, is Christmas Day, and we trust that you'll have a special time of fellowship with your family and friends uh, as that day takes place and we celebrate the birth of our uh, love and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, also this morning, we'll be voting on our video presentation system. Uh, and on the back of your bulletin there, uh, it, this is kind of difficult for us to do in taking a vote. Most of the time we're inside the church or uh, you know, special business meeting that way and we have time for discussion. Uh, for the discussion on this, there on the back where you've got your prayer list, there's a uh, little tear out there. Uh, now I know it says, uh, and, and use this part of it, it says please list all veterans in your family and as that's stated there on the back and there's some lines there for comments. If you have a question or something you'd like to be discussed for this uh, projection system, if you would write that down and put that in the offering plate this morning, and we'll get that to Pastor Tim whenever we call the business meeting forward. That way it can be discussed or if there's a concern about it, uh, maybe we can get that explained. Uh, and, and don't feel bad about asking a question. Uh, the, my, or, uh, the statement I always make about a question is, uh, so they say, well, oh, it's a dumb question. No, there's not any dumb questions. The only dumb question is one you don't never ask. So if you have a concern about it or something that you, you don't know or something that you've asked someone and they didn't know either, please write those down and turn those in. We'll do our best to answer those, okay? Uh, but they, again, if you'll write that on that little tire out and place it in the offer plate, okay? Now, on the inside of your bulletin there, uh, we've got a couple that graduated uh, in different areas uh, that we'd like to recognize this morning. We had uh, Carrie Rigger. Uh, she uh, graduated from King University. We've got a Bachelor's of Arts. Uh, and you can see there some more information on her, uh, about her, uh, what she did there at the school, uh, and also about her degree. Also, Jessica Hartley uh, graduated from the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, and she got an LPN there. Uh, some more information about her as well. They must be praying for those uh, as they go out into the, uh, the, their careers. 
few areas, uh, but they've studied for those, and so let's be much in prayer for them. So let's give them a, a round of applause and a honk out this morning. How's that? That's a big milestone, a big achievement. All right, also this morning we've got some birthdays. Uh, several today, we've got uh, Galen Kelly, Sarah Kilgore, well, Lois Miller, E.G. Morrow, Gabrielle Osborne, uh, celebrating their birthdays today. And then we have some others there throughout the week. Uh, also, we have uh, an anniversary, uh, Tommy and Louise Martin. Uh, December the 13th will be 51 years. So let's give them around this morning. <laughs> also have a couple of cards here this morning. First one says, thank you. During a time like this, we learn how much our family and friends really mean to us. Your expression of sympathy will always be remembered, and that's from the Baldwin family. The other one says, May God's love watch over you. Shout for joy, you heavens rejoice, you earth. Burst into song, you mountains. And that's found in Isaiah 49, 13. It says, Wishing you joy, peace, and God's many blessings. Merry Christmas to all in the church. Thank you for the DVD player. It helps me be able to watch the services. I really enjoy them. And may God bless everyone and keep, keep me in your prayers. Loving Christ, Sister Sue Barnett. Okay, at this time, I'll turn it over to Pastor Tim. Aren't you grateful today uh, that all that God has given us, amen? Amen. amen. As, as I look around and I see all the smiling faces, uh, it is week of Christmas. Uh, some people seem to think, well, uh, 2020 has just flown by. Well, in some cases, I believe it has flown by. In some cases, it feels like it's just July. In other cases, it feels like it's 2025. Uh, do you all have the same feeling that I had at that time? And uh, so we're very grateful for all that God's done for us. Uh, we're going we're gonna to just praise the Lord. Uh, first of all, as your pastor, I just want to let you know that I'm very grateful for your patience. I'm very grateful for your, uh, for your faithfulness here at Limestone, and uh, so we're just thankful. At this time, I'm going to turn it over uh, to uh, Brother Chase, but before we do that, we'll open up in prayer, and uh, we'll just sing and glorify the Lord today. Amen. Father, Lord, we love you today. Lord, you know the many requests, Lord, has been mentioned here today. Lord, you know the many needs. Lord, you know the many petitions, Lord, that we need to place in your hands and at your feet. Lord, we pray today, Lord, for the many that may be battling the COVID virus. And Lord, we pray today, Lord, you just uh, intervene in a marvelous way. Lord, we pray today, Lord, for our essential workers. Lord, we ask today, Lord, you just move and guide and direct in their hearts and their lives. Give them energy. And Lord, just uh, touch them and, and encourage them. Lord, we pray today, Lord, for every aspect of our church. Lord, whatever, we, whatever we're part of. But the main aspect is the main thing. And Lord, may it never take a minor part of anything we do. And that's the presenting of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we praise you. And Lord, we love you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen. Amen. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday morning worship service. Uh, this is what I'm going to call Christmas Sunday, so Chase and I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Amen. Uh, this is an important week for the church, and I'm super excited. There's nothing that could put out my, my excitement this morning. Um, I hope you'll join us on Wednesday night for um, our Christmas play. Uh, I have no idea what 2021 is going to look like, but I'm still going to plan on praising and worshiping the Lord and serving Amen. Him. So um, I pray you'll come out Wednesday night. Um, the youth has been working really hard on telling the story of Jesus. And so that's what we're going to sing this morning. Tell me the story of Jesus. Bless you today.
name today. Uh, but we're very grateful for all that he's done and all that he's given to us. And uh, I'm just thankful today for him loving and caring for us. Uh, let's do continue to pray and, and just look. Uh, if you look, open up your bulletin there, you can see uh, that uh, there is a Christmas card uh, from our, our family. Uh, and uh, from my family to yours, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And uh, so I'm very grateful for this. At this time, uh, we'll continue singing. Join with us this morning as we sing Silent Night. Thank you. 
At this time, uh, we'll be uh, receiving our offering, and uh, uh, if you'd like to come say more. Uh, just, to, just to echo what Brother Dennis said, uh, before we uh, receive our offering and before we bless it, uh, we will be, uh, uh, if you have any questions of discussion towards the video presentation, uh, please fill those, please fill that tear out, please fill it out with your question, and we'll try our best to discuss that uh, during the time of the vote. Uh, we feel that's the only way that we can do that, and in a way that's, uh, this is very challenging, folks, and uh, if this wasn't something that we thought that needed to be done right away, uh, you know, we, we feel that when we do get started back into our services, uh, things are still going to be kind of uh, restricted, uh, and this will help us to be able to have our services in a way uh, that everyone can join in, uh, everyone can enjoy themselves, uh, so this is just for that. So please, if you have any discussion, fill that out, and, uh, and we'll, be, uh, we'll answer those the best we can. Uh, we're very grateful uh, that, that this is, as again, Christmas week. Uh, New Year's is upon us. And uh, we have a completed 2020. I know everyone had a had an understanding. I will have a fresh vision in 2020. Well, I'm, if this is what we call fresh vision, I'm not sure <laughs> what we're looking for. Uh, but God has truly given us the ability to be able to have a, a, an insight on how to make decisions and given us guidance on what to do. And, and you all have truly been patient with us and gracious with us, and we're very grateful for that. And are, are our ushers ready to receive the offering? May I have a sound of horn? Okay, I think I heard a horn. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pray. Father, Lord, we love you today. We thank you for what you do for us. Lord, we thank you for the faithfulness of our people. And Lord, their faithfulness, Lord, to serve you, to worship you, and Lord, to give their tithes and their offerings unto you and your service. Lord, I pray today, Lord, you bless each and every one that's here. Bless this offering, Lord, Lord we'll be receiving. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you.